Hey guys, welcome back to Food Tech Journey. So today we are going to discuss about vitamins, as these are the essential micronutrient in our body. So without wasting time, let's start. are organic molecule you all know that these are needed for metabolism in our body as these are the essential micronutrient and they can't be synthesized in our body so they are taken from the diet most vitamins are not single molecules but groups related molecules are called as vitamins understood next we will move ahead two types of vitamins there are two types of vitamins fat soluble vitamins and water soluble vitamins fat soluble vitamins are dissolved in water as the name suggests that fat soluble vitamins are dissolved in water these are absorbed by fat globules that travel through small intestine and gets distributed into the blood stream these are stored in liver and in adipose tissue right where fat soluble vitamins are vitamin d k a and e then water soluble vitamins as the name suggests the water soluble vitamins are dissolved in water these are absorbed into tissues for immediate use these are not stored in the body so regular intake of water soluble vitamins is necessary white water soluble vitamins are vitamin b and vitamin c so we will discuss about water soluble vitamins first first we have vitamin c it is also present in ascorbic acid it is also called as ascorbic acid it is central to iron absorption and collagen synthesis it helps in absorption of iron it aids in wound healing it helps in wound healing and bone formation in the body it also improves the immunity function in our body deficiency disease which is caused due to a uh, lack of vitamin c is curvy some examples are given here like peppers broccoli cabbage etc these are the vegetables some citrus fruits citrus fruits are the main source of vitamin c other fruits are guava papaya watermelon kiwi strawberries melon blueberries etc some juices like grapefruit lemon tomato as you can see most of these are the citrus fruits some herbs and spices also contains vitamin c so the deficiency can be recovered by consuming all these types of food products next we have vitamin b1 thiamine it helps to release energy from food that means it helps in absorption of the energy from the food into the body It is important in maintaining nervous system function. It also stimulate stimulates the nervous system inside a body. The deficiency disease which is caused due to vitamin B one are beriberi and Reinke Korsakoff syndrome. These are the deficiency diseases. You all have heard about beriberi, right? These are the it is a common disease which is caused due to lack of vitamin b1 inside our body these are some examples which uh, of food products which contains vitamin b1 like wheat germ flax seeds sunflower seeds ham seeds ham pistachio pork wheat bread rye bread salmon etc next we have vitamin b2 it is called as riboflavin it helps promotes good vision it improves eyesight 
and healthy and glowing skin. It is important in converting the amino acid tryptophan into niacin. Remember this. It is a very important thing that it converts the amino acid tryptophan into niacin. Deficiency disease which is caused due to vitamin B2 are riboflavinosis, glossitis and angular stomatitis. These are the deficiency diseases. And some example of food products are soya beans, kidney, uh, beef kidney, almond, squid, fish, eggs, feta cheese, soybeans, eggs, Atlantic, mackerel, beef, ground pork, yogurt, spinach, etc. Next we have vitamin B3, niacin. So it aids in, it takes part in digestion, it improves the metabolism and helps in normal enzyme function. It also promotes healthy skin and nerves. Deficiency disease which is caused due to vitamin 3 is pellagra. Okay. So, signs of deficiency are poor connect concentration and memory, headache, fatigue, sores in mouth, digestive problems, skin problems. These are the signs of deficiency and some best food, food sources uh, which can help in these diseases are grass-fed meats, poultry and eggs, almonds, split green peas, mushrooms, sunflower seeds which contains vitamin B3. Now, vitamin B5, pantothenic acid. It aids in metabolism and the formation of hormones. It takes part in the hormonal process in our body. The deficiency disease which is caused due to lack of vitamin B5 is paresthesia. Its signs of deficiency are fatigue, lethargic, we feel lethargic, uh, tiredness, uh, burning feet, stress, anxiety, respiratory infections, etc. These are the common signs of deficiency and some food sources which can help are avocado, mushroom, cabbage, eggs, seafoods and some dairy food products. Next we have vitamin B6. Vitamin B6 is contained in pepper, Bacillus pepper, anchor pepper, sunflower seeds, whey protein, isolate. It contains around 68% per 100 gram. Um, and uh, wild Atlantic salmon. So these all are the food products which contains pyridoxine. It aids in protein metabolism. It aids in protein metabolism and production of red blood cell, insulin and hemoglobin. It also purifies blood. Deficiency disease which is caused due to vitamin B6 are anemia and peripheral neuropathy. Understood? Next we have vitamin B7. So biotin is contained. Biotin is contained and it helps release energy from carbohydrates. It aids in the metabolism of fats, proteins and carbohydrates from food. Some sources of biotin are peanuts, oats, hazelnuts, egg yolks, lentils, walnuts, soybeans and carrots. Deficiency disease which is caused due to biotin are anteritis and dermatitis. Next we have vitamin B9. Folic acid or it is also called as folate. It aids in protein metabolism and RBC formation, RBC red blood cell formation. It reduces the risk of neural tube birth defects which are caused during birth. Deficiency diseases caused by folic acid or folate are megaloblastic anemia and birth defects. Some food products, these are the top 10 foods uh, which are highest in vitamin B9. We have green soya beans, lentils, asparagus, spinach, avocado, broccoli, mangoes, lettuce, orange and sweet corn. Next vitamin B12, cobalamins. So these aids in the production of normal red blood cells in our body 
and they maintains and stimulates our nervous system they also coordinates in the activities inside our brain deficiency disease which is caused due to vitamin b12 is anemia some food sources which contains vitamin b12 are clams burgers yogurt milk lamb liver mozzarella lobsters eggs crabs chicken trout salmon and beef now we will discuss about fat soluble vitamins as fat soluble vitamins are absorbed by fat globules so uh, these can these are stored in our body vitamin a is a first vitamin a is a first fat soluble vitamin here it is also called as trans retinol it is also called as trans retinal esters it is integral to bone formation tooth formation and vision it helps and improves eyesight it contributes to immune and cellular function while keeping the intestines working properly it also helps in coordinating the functions in our intestines so that they can run smoothly they can work smoothly deficiency disease which is caused due to lack of vitamin a inside our body are night blindness and hyperkeratosis these are the deficiency diseases some sources of vitamin a are broccoli apricot apple grapes carrot spinach melon watermelon mango kiwi pepper and parsley these are the sources of vitamin a so they should be consumed regularly vitamin d or calciferols is a another fat soluble vitamin as you know that the main source of vitamin d is sunlight it promotes synthesis in the skin others are cod liver oil caviar salmon raw milk raw milk, raw milk also contains vitamin d mushrooms eggs tuna etc vitamin d aids in the development of teeth and bone by encouraging the absorption and metabolism of phosphorus and calcium in our body this helps in the absorption of calcium which helps in bone and teeth formation and phosphorus inside our body deficiency disease which is caused due to lack of vitamin d is osteomalacia and rickets these are the common deficiency diseases next we have vitamin e vitamin e or tocopherols and tocotrienols this it is a antioxidant it acts as the antioxidant that helps fight infection infectious diseases and keeps red blood cells healthy this keeps rbcs healthy deficiency disease which is caused due to a deficiency of vitamin e is very rare but rarely hepolytic anemia is caused due to deficiency of vitamin e some food sources are given here these are some vegetables like broccoli spinach asparagus some fruits like avocado mango kiwi cooking oil like sunflower oil olive oil almond oil some nuts seeds and these are some other food products which contains vitamin e at last we have vitamin k called as phylloquinone and manaquinones it is the it is central to blood clotting and it also keeps our bones healthy as it also helps in the absorption of calcium and it helps in blood clotting inside our body and keeps the rbcs a healthy deficiency disease which is caused due to lack of vitamin k is bleeding diathesis as it helps in blood clotting so the deficiency disease caused is bleeding diathesis vitamin k uh, involves vitamin k1 and k2 the products are divided like that vitamin k1 includes turnips broccoli carrots vegetable oils blueberries and grapes while vitamin k2 involves soya beans soy crop dairy products liver and other organ meats egg yolks fatty fish such as uh, salmon these are divided in terms of veg and non veg here 
so thank you if you have any doubt you can ask in the comment section please like subscribe and comment my videos and help me to motivate and make more videos in future thank you so much